in today's video. I will be showing you how to install the drivers for your HP printer. So the first thing you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in control panel. You now need to go ahead and open the control panel and we now need to change the few by to small icons and you now need to click on devices and printers. You now need to ensure your printer is turned on and it's plugged into your computer and as you can see, mine is currently turned on and plugged in. But it's got this exclamation mark. And that's because there is no driver installed. As you can see there at the bottom, it says driver is unavailable. If you do, however, install the latest driver for your printer and it doesn't resolve the issue, then I will pop a link in the description below to a post that we have done that has lots of methods to resolving issues with printers. So you now need to make a note of what printer you have. As you can see, I have a HP DeskJet 3630 series. So we now need to go ahead and click on the link that's in the description below, and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on printer, and you now need to type in your product name. So like I just said, I've got the 36300 series, which means I need to put 3630 and it should then pop up and it's right there you can see HP DeskJet 3630 all in one printer. You now need to select your printer and you then need to press submit. You now need to scroll down and you now need to expand basic drivers and we now need to click on download. So you need to select download next to your driver, your printer, ensure it is the correct printer name because if you're not downloading the correct drivers for your printer, then it still won't work. Once the drivers have finished downloading, you now need to run the driver setup file. You now need to press continue. And as you can see here, ensure your printer is turned on. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do, click I have reviewed and accept and then press next. It will now begin to install the drivers for your printer. You now have two different options. I find the automatic setup the best option because it saves a lot of messing around. But if you do want to do a manual setup, then go ahead and select manual. But for this video, I'm going to select automatic setup and we now need to go next. Once the setup has finished, if you now open control panel again and go to your devices and printers, you will now see that your printer is working correctly and it does have the latest drivers installed. And you can see on mine here that I no longer have that error message. So that is how you install the latest drivers for your printer in Windows 10. I hope this tutorial has helped and you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe. For more computer sluggish tutorials.